What is your call? You see, I want you to give me proof why it, 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 it told me you want to give it to me about the of Christ. If I, if I so I want, you, I want you to, yeah, because this is the, for everybody. You see what I mean? So after, people want to know yeah. where. So let me, let, me ask, let me ask you this If I bring up verses, are you going to address them? Who? You. What do you mean who? If I bring up verses, are if you, you, if, you uh, if you bring up verses, of course I'm going to address them. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to bring another don't, verse. Don't glance over them. No, no. If you bring a verse, I've got another verse to debunk that. Let's debate on it. All of a sudden, let's say, if you bring a verse, I've got a verse in higher than that. Don't worry. You got to convince us Jesus is God. That's what I'm saying. And my job now is to debunk that. That it's simple as that. So can you debunk yeah. him? What uh, about? Why? Well, yeah. Sorry. Can you debunk him by dealing with the points that he will raise to you? You know what I mean? So if he brings no, if you bring a verse, I've got a verse that he debunked. I've got a verse. I, look, when I'm debating here, yes, guess what? I don't call from, what he says, listen so that's to what me. I, mean. I don't speak from my own whimp or from secondary that's, source. That's from fine. the Quran and the Bible. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. So if you call that's a verse, fine. Yeah. now it's my turn. No, you know, I'm going to call a debunk that. Simple. You see what I mean? I've got a verse to debunk that. It's simple as that. I'm not going to go and call okay, a verse. So we're going to go three minutes. That's the thing. No, hold on, it's coming. Why, Hassan? No, the other. Hassan. Hassan. Because I need you, I need you to go to it. Hold on. He's there, he's there. Yeah, you got to feel no. His Hassan is going to call. But my friend, but since you're giving the negative case, you go first. Don't, don't, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. There's no one panicking. You because when I debate with them, by the time I finish with them, they run away. <laughs> because oh yeah yeah, Bob and all of them, they chicken out. They chicken out. Yeah. So you said okay. you know you're going to swim. You know it means that you read the Bible. If you read the Bible, I'm here to debate. Okay. Yeah? Okay. So three minutes. And each. I got what? So, so, look at what? I'm I will have money on me. Evidence: thousand pounds. Both fail. Okay. That's it. Because you give the church. So I right, give. So I give the case for on. the deity of Christ. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Why do you become happy? What's wrong? Hold on. Why do you become happy? No, it's a bus. Yeah. Keep. Keep the. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. You want to use mine? As long as he deals with the points that you make. Yeah. I want to put this on my channel as well. So I don't know where it yet. But I can send it to you. Use my yeah. I just use yours. Yeah. 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 Like that, is, is yeah, it, yeah? Is it, yeah, you can do video, it like, yeah? is it a video? Yeah, it's video play. No, let me stop it, I can stop it, take it in. Yeah, yeah. click the middle button. Yeah, yeah. so... Yeah, you can, yeah. can you hold it, let's see what? Yeah, yeah. We need to be confident with the jacket, it's just about half an hour. It's alright, it's alright. Put, it, yeah? put the jacket down and everything. Yeah. yeah. When, I, when it's ready, then you can start. Hold on. Oh, let me, can you stay over there? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so it's three minutes. You can start. Wait, no, 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 wait, when the clock starts. Right, go. Okay, so this is another conversation about the deity of Christ. I had the same conversation last week. Hopefully Lamin can give some better uh, arguments than my last previous opponent. <laughs> the Bible clearly teaches that Jesus, that Jesus is God. It teaches the deity of Christ in contrary to what Lamin is about to tell you. For example, Jesus uses divine titles of himself that would be blasphemy if he was just a mere prophet. When Jesus says, for example, before Abraham was, I am, He's referring to Exodus 3.14, where God says to Moses, tell Pharaoh I am has sent you. Therefore, when Jesus claims to be the great I am of the Old Testament, he's claiming to be the God who sent Moses. Jesus does this elsewhere in the Bible. In Isaiah chapter 44, verse six, God says to Isaiah, I am the first and I am the last. Jesus takes this same divine title and he applies it to himself. He says in Revelation chapter one, verse 17, I am the first and I am the last. In Revelation one, Jesus says, I am the Alpha and I am the Omega. These titles that Jesus used, if he was just a good Muslim prophet, he would not be able to say these without committing shirk and blasphemy. Now, what did the earliest disciples of Jesus believe? They also believed he was God. John chapter 20, verse 28, Thomas says in the Greek, the Lord of me and the God of me. And Jesus, if he was just a good prophet, would have to have said, Thomas, do not call me that. I'm just a messenger, what are you doing? He did not say that, rather he said, Thomas, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who believe and haven't seen me. If you read John chapter six, verse 44, Jesus says all that the Father gives to him, the Father gives to him, he will raise up. What prophet can raise up the dead on the last day? What prophet has control over judgment day? No prophet. Jesus does, therefore Jesus is God. If we continue to read through the, the, uh, the, the accounts of the Gospels about the life of Christ, Mark chapter 1, verse 2 and 3, it's very interesting. He refers to Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3, where it says, there will be a messenger in the wilderness preparing the way for the Lord God. Now Mark associates John the Baptist as this messenger in the wilderness preparing the way for the Lord God, and he has Jesus coming, fulfilling the role of the Lord God. So according to Mark, the earliest Gospel, Jesus is God. If you look at the, the Apostle Paul's writings in Titus chapter 2, 
Paul says that we wait for the appearing of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ. So according to Jesus himself, he is God. According to the disciples, he is God. They worshipped him in Matthew chapter 2 and chapter 20 or so. He's worshipped in two different places in Matthew and one place in Luke. If he was just a prophet, he could not receive such worship. The, the Apostle Paul, the, there were some people that tried to bow down and worship the Apostle Paul. He said, do not do that, I'm not God. Now when we have the life of Christ, where he was worshipped, he didn't say do not do that. He accepted their worship and he accepted it because he is God and only God has the right to be worshipped. Time. Right, time. Everybody start. Your three minutes. Starts. So, my brothers and sisters, Alhamdulillah, back at the speaker's corner. Um, well, I came today, apparently, my friend here, what's your name? Ben. ben has been watching my videos anyway, so as soon as he saw me today, he approached me, said he wants to talk about the deity of Christ. That is going to convince me that Jesus is God. So, I've been coming here for nearly since 2016. I mean, I've debated all of them, bodybuilder, cartoon, done all of them. None of them have convinced me in any way, shape, or form that Jesus is God. That is not, in fact, there's not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus himself claims to be God. Not a single verse. They'll quote Peter, they'll quote here and there, but it's not a verse. You know, if you, look, if you read the Bible, the Bible is repeating verses why Jesus is telling you that he's not God, that Almighty God is the only one Lord. In fact, the first of all the commandments in Gospel of Mark, I don't know where nobody. Here is right. The Lord our God is one Lord. Sure. Who is he just talking about? Your time to speak. Yeah. So what is happening now? I said, the Bible is pretty verses. If Jesus is God, you see what I mean? He would have said that to his disciples. Jesus never preached in secret. He preaches all in the public. He teach his disciples how many? Three and a half years? He never said anything in any way, shape, or form that he is God. You understand? So this is if you read the Bible, as I say, so many verses are quoted here. I don't know whether my brother, uh, the brother Ben has been watching those videos. But I said, if Jesus is God, why would Jesus say, John 5:30, I can of of myself do nothing, as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not of my own will, but the will of Him who sent me. Who is that sent him if Jesus is God? Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Who is that Lord? You said, worship, uh, uh, you, are, you worship today, the Christians are worshiping Jesus. They are bound down to Jesus. But Jesus said, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse number 10. The same message repeated in Gospel of Luke, chapter 4, verse number 8. Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. That is clear. And it dies here. Me, Samson, and the rest, that is a verse we quote all the time to the Christians, yeah? You see? John 17, 3. John 17, 3. Jesus was in the upper room, yeah? Speaking to the disciples. 1 to 2, he was praying to God. When he come to 3, say, and this is eternal life. This is eternal life that the Madonna, you are the only true God and Jesus Christ whom we have sent. You got to address these issues. That means that you're reading the Bible, you're skipping these verses. You're going to obscure verses. And this is eternal life that they might not. You are the only, the only true God and Jesus Christ time. whom you have sent. So if Jesus is God, that means that he's a false God. Uh, it's not yet time. time. He's went more than six minutes. No, you time. went out, okay, yeah, you went out there. Okay, no problem. No, 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 I'll address the points you made and then I'll reiterate the points because you did not touch on my points. Okay, cool. So you have three minutes. Look, three minutes. Look, start now. Okay, now Lamin has finished doing his best Zaki and Ike impression. I will address the points he's made. He says there are no verses where Jesus claims to be God. Yeah, he clearly ignored everything I just previously said. <laughs> Jesus is referred to as God, and if he, if he was just a prophet, yeah. he would have had to have rejected that. He didn't. If he's just a prophet, he can't take Old Testament names of God and apply that to himself. In Isaiah 44, 6, Jesus uses that same name. Jesus uses the great I Am name we find in Exodus 3, 14. He says that in John 8, 58. The Jews understood this was a claim to divinity because in verse 59, I'm sure Lamin doesn't know this because he only proof texts from things off Google. In verse 59, you see that the Jews tried to stone Jesus because they considered what he said as blasphemy. Because as they say, you being a man, make yourself out to be God. His next point was, if Jesus was God, yeah. he would have told his disciples. He did, <laughs> when he said, before Abraham was, I am. The Jews knew the Old Testament scripture. The Jews knew where this passage was found in Exodus 3.14. Lamin probably doesn't. Now, 
He also says, I of myself can do nothing. Did Jesus say these words? Yes, he absolutely did. And the reason why Lamin misunderstands this is because he does not understand the doctrine of the Trinity. When Jesus says, I of myself can do nothing, it's quite right to say that because Jesus shares nature with the Father. As we read in Hebrews chapter one, verse three, it says Jesus is the exact imprint of the nature of God. So therefore, if he shares nature with God, he's not going to do his own thing. He's going to continue his relationship with his Father through earthly means. He's going to continue carrying out the will of his Father through earthly means. There's no issue there. If he shares nature with the Father, he's going to do everything in accordance with his Father. He says John 17, three. Now this is probably the most ridiculous argument I've ever heard in my life. John 17, three, starts in John 17, three. You cannot use John 17, three to prove, to disprove the deity of Christ. John's whole gospel, it has the highest Christology of all the gospels. If you read in John chapter one, verse three, it says that all things that were created were created by Jesus. Therefore, that excludes Jesus from creation itself. Therefore, okay, therefore, can I have some more seconds? Let, let, let go, yeah. It's Please a don't Christian interrupt. here, is the banking. Don't interrupt, don't interrupt. Don't interrupt, oh. You are fornicated. Have some respect, have some respect. <laughs> this, 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 this discussion is not about fornication. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait, 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 let's pause, let's pause. No, let me, 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 let Therefore, if all things were created by Jesus, that excludes Jesus from creation. Therefore, he's not creator, he's not a created prophet, he's the creator of the prophets. Now, he's the creator of Muhammad. Now, if we continue through John's Gospel, John chapter 6, he raises up the dead. Only, only God can raise up the dead on the last day. Go to John chapter 10, he says, I give eternal life. Only Jesus, only, G only God can give eternal life. Jesus says, Jesus says, I give eternal life. In John 17 verse five, two verses later, he says, now Father glorify me with the glory I had with you before the world began. What prophet can share glory with the Father before the world began, considering the Old Testament says that God will share his glory with no one. Time, thank you, thank you Bob. Uh, uh, thank you, babe. This Sorry, guy wait, wait, is wait, wait, let me restart. No, coming no, out no, 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 no. with clap trap. You hear what he said? Now, to say that Jesus said, before Abraham was, I am. Look, that making is God. Yeah? Before Abraham was, there was angels. Why do you worship angels? This is incredible. This is incredible. You're causing before Abraham I am to be Jesus' God. Jesus clearly tells you who God is. And you tell him that Jesus created everything. Did Jesus create heavens and the earth? I'm asking you. This is incredible. Jesus said, I can of, of self, I can of myself do nothing. As I hear a judge and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of him who sent me, you only skip those verses. And let's go to the creation. You say Jesus created. No, the act of creation is a consequence of the divine attribute of being God. Now, Allah SWT, throughout the Quran, makes it clear to mankind that he's a creator. I'm going to quote verses from the Quran to know that Allah is the creator of everything and let him do the same thing with Jesus. And one verse from the Bible will debunk this myth of you saying Jesus created everything, he created... What a nonsense. Now, if you need to go to the Quran, go to the Quran now. I come to the Bible, go to, go to the Quran. It, it's, it's mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter number two, verse number 117. It says, But he is He, Allah, is the originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees something, he's only said to him, be and it is. Furthermore, it's the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Asajda, chapter number. It's the Sajda, sorry, okay. In Surah Sajda, okay, 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 please, okay. In Surah Sajda, okay. in Surah Sajda, chapter number 32, verse number four, it says that it is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and whatever is been between them in six days. Yeah? Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned, I'm coming. Furthermore, in the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Anam, chapter number six. Verse number one, it says here that go, 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 it's go, go, go. Allah, it is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and originated the darkness and the light. Yet those who disbelieve hold all that equal with their Lord. Very fast in the Quran, for the moment in the Quran, I'll come to the Bible. In the Golden Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33. It is Allah who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon, each of them swimming their own orbit. Furthermore, in the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Ibrahim, chapter number uh, 
14, verse number 22. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth. So many verses. You go to the Quran again in Surah. In, in, in Surah. What do you call it? In Surah. In Surah. And an arm. Sorry. Is it finished? Finished. Go. Come to the Bible now. Go. This GP is the certificate. The medicine he gave him the world. It's speaker's corner, my friend. A little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble here. For the rest of us. Let me go. Let me stop on here. Let me go. Restart, restart. Let's ignore them. Go. Go. Okay. So his first point was this. His first point was this. Does Jesus saying before Abraham was I am mean that he's God? Considering that the angels were also before Abraham, yes, they was. But it, mean, it doesn't mean he's God simply because he says before Abraham was I am. It's what he means by when he says that. Because when he says before Abraham was I am, this is a title God gave to Himself in Exodus 3:14. So when Jesus uses this same title of God and refers it to Himself. He's claiming to be the God who sent Moses. Now he has to deal with the context. Because in the context, you see in verse 59, they tried to stone Jesus. While they tried to stone Jesus, if, if Jesus meant what he said, they only tried to stone Jesus because Jesus meant what I'm telling you, that he was God who sent Moses. He also said that creation is an attribute of God. This very phrase that he's just uttered is about to hang him. He's just shot himself in the foot. If creation is only an attribute of God, then why did Jesus create a, a clay bird in the Quran? Why does he breathe life into a clay bird and it lives? That's the act of creation. So if according to Lamin, creation is an attribute of being God, therefore according to the Quran, Jesus has the attribute of creation, therefore he's God. Perfect. Now, I want Lamin to address my points because unfortunately he's on his script. He's not actually addressed anything I've said. He's simply making a few comments here and there, speaking really fast, doing his best Zaki and Ike impression <laughs> without addressing any points. Now, address my points. In Hebrews chapter 1, verse 3, where it says Jesus shares nature with God, Answer my question. How can a prophet share nature with God? That's question one. Because if a, if a prophet shares nature with God, that's shirk, and you have polytheism, not monotheism. Answer this other question. When Thomas called Jesus Lord and God, I'm, I'm repeating myself because he's not answering the questions. When Jesus said, when Thomas said to Jesus in John 20, verse 28, before Abraham, uh, my Lord and my God, in the Greek it's very strong, the Lord of me and the God of me. If Jesus was just a prophet, he would have had to have said, Thomas, don't call me that. I'm just a messenger, I'm not God. But rather Jesus said these words, and I want you to answer me, why did Jesus reply in this way, and not in the way he should have done if he was just a prophet? He said, Thomas, you believe in me because you've seen. Blessed are those who believe and haven't seen. If Jesus is not God, um, excuse me, it's a debate. You, you can come next, if you want to come next, you can come next. So if Jesus is just a prophet, he shouldn't have said those words. He should have refuted Thomas. Now secondly, we even have the Father identifying Jesus as divine. It, at, the, at the baptism of Jesus, the Father turns up, the Holy Spirit descends upon the Son. This is a Trinitarian formula. The Father says, you are my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Answer me this, at what other baptism did the Father ever turn up at and say, this is my Son? He didn't. So instead of, inter instead of ignoring my comments and just doing a Zaki and Ike script, address the points I'm actually making. Time. Look, this guy here, look, he approached me, he wanted to talk about the deity of Christ. He believed that Jesus is God. The onus is on you to tell, you know, I'm not going to, yeah, I've got verses that to tell you that Jesus is not God. You listen to me. Look, no, 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 the point is made, I said, they're all, it's simple. You two specific questions. What two questions are you talking about? He wasn't even Because before Abraham, I, 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 I am. And what else? He talked about Jesus creating everything. Hebrews 1. Hold on, hold on. Let me pause. You're not debating. No, no, let me pause. You're not debating. You're not debating. You're not debating. Just, you're recording. You're not debating. This is the problem with you. Just leave me in him. That's the thing. You're recording. So what's going to happen? It's my turn. Now, please. You see? So what are we going to do now at the moment? He said that Jesus created everything. I even said Jesus created your Muhammad. I said, what did he create? Do you know what God said about himself? Now, if Jesus is God, Tell us what Jesus said he created. Because in your Bible, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verse 24, you know what God said? You see, they will quote uh, uh, Paul. Book of Hebrews, book of you know, uh, you know, uh, Romans. Paul, they are following. What did Jesus say about creation? You're calling Paul there. Do you know what God said? They will never go to the Old Testament and say what God said about himself. God said he's only one Lord. He's not a man. You know what God said about creation? You go to the, uh, the book of Isaiah, Chapter number 44, verse number 24. You know what God said? I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. Address that. That's the Old Testament. You think that God changed his mind? God said, I am the Lord who made, who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. Address that. You approach me. You want to show me about the deity of Christ. 
Don't tell me I'm Dr. Knight, Dr. Knight style. And I'm giving you, you refer, you rebut it. Go to the Old Testament. What does God say by himself? You know, I came here, I challenged him. Six verses from the Bible, Old Testament, called six verses where God speaks about himself, about his oneness. The Old Testament is replete with verses where God is telling them he's only one Lord. Do not worship anything. Don't bow down to them. Do you know that? In the, gospel, in, 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 in the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse number 3 to 5, you shall have no other gods besides me. You shall not make for yourself graven in it or any license or anything that is in heaven above or, this, or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them. You shall not bow down to them or serve them for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God. Why can't you call that? He can't. He'll go to the New Testament called Paul. Call Paul. But go to the Old Testament. What did God say about himself? He won't. God says he's not a man. In the book of Hosea, contradiction. Hosea 11.9. For I am God and not man. You said Jesus is what? Fully man and fully God. What's so with him? What's so with them? Jesus is on the earth. How can he be God? Tell me. He said, the Lord our God is the one Lord. Explain that. Who, which Lord is that? Several verses of the Bible, Jesus make a distinction between him and Almighty God. They will not quote it. I challenge him. Six verses from the Bible where God Time. speaks about himself. He can't quote it. Time. Quote the six verses. Time. All right, Ben. No yes. trinity in the Old Testament. Time. <clears throat> Three, yep. two. No, 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 no. We've got maybe two more. Wait, wait. I've got a few more to say. Are you, are you finished? Yeah, I'm finished. Go on. All right, cool. Three, two, one, eh? Go. Okay, the first point. I'm going to address is notice he didn't answer any of the questions I made. Unfortunately, Lamin wants to make points and he says you must answer my points. So when I do answer his points sufficiently, he ignores that I've, ans I've answered them and says I haven't. But when I say answer my points, he doesn't answer them. So he's got, he doesn't really want an answer. He, his approach to this debate is inconsistent. You answer me, but I don't have to answer you. That's not the way this works. You have to answer the points I address for this to be a productive debate. Secondly, you said only God has the attributes of creation. Jesus created in the Quran, so by your own uh, logic, Jesus in the Quran has divine attributes. Mm. You can't get away from that. Quran is Stop, stop. You're going to show me later. Okay, go. I'll give you one minute. Lamming, Lamming, Lamming. Lamming, be fair. Wait, wait. Nobody spoke over you. Hey, Lamming. That is three minutes. Hey, Lamming. You've got to respect this time. Sorry, go. All right. Receive now. Okay, this interruption is due to panic. He's, he's panicking because I've answered his points and he's stuck. Now, secondly, he said I, he quoted from Isaiah chapter 44 to disprove Jesus is God. What did Jesus say about Isaiah 44? Jesus said, in Isaiah 44, it says, I am the first and last. Jesus says, I am the first and last in Revelation 1.17. So Jesus affirms Isaiah 44, but he applies Isaiah 44 to himself. Therefore, that's a claim to deity. Lamin, unfortunately, doesn't understand this because he picks and chooses what he likes and what he doesn't like. His approach is arbitrary. He also said that when I say that Jesus created all things, he says I'm quoting Paul. I didn't quote Paul. I quoted from John chapter 1, verse 3, where, Jesus, where it says Jesus created all things that were created. So it's not Paul, it's John, which demonstrates, once again, you weren't really listening. You're just, you're just here to make points, not actually engage in the argument. You also said that uh, there's no trinity in the Old Testament. Once again, Lamin doesn't understand what he's talking about. But in, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, it goes into the plural, where God says, let us, plural, make man in our plural image. Read verse 27. It then goes into the singular, where God says, where it says that God made them in his image. So in two verses, you have this, the, the plural and then the singular, talking about the one being of God. So according to Genesis 1, 26 and 27, there is a plurality in the one being of God. The Jews understood this also. Read Benjamin Summers' work. Read the, uh, uh, the, the Talmud uh, 38b. There's a discussion between the Sadducees and the Pharisees about the plurality in the one being of God. So the, even the early Jews debated this. Lamin doesn't know that because he only goes on Google and picks and chooses certain verses to prove text. If you also go to, um, uh, he said that like, people only bow down to God. We are only to bow down to God and worship God. Okay, if that's the case, then why in Matthew chapter two, do the wise men come down, bow down to Jesus as a baby, and it says they worship him. So you're saying in the Bible, people only bow down and worship God. In the Bible, people doubt, bow down and worship Jesus. Once again, you probably didn't know that was there because that, for, that verse doesn't suit your narrative. Perfect. You also said that in the Bible, it says, my time's up. Six seconds left. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let, people let, bow let, down let, to let Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's, be fair. No, Let's be fair and let's present your time. Yeah. I got to the last one. Now. People bow down to Jesus. What's if Jesus? God says he's not bowed down to them. You're the following God. These people are, are crafty. You shall, not, you shall not have honor. You shall not have any honor gods besides me. 
You shall not make for yourself a great image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them for I the Lord your God am a jealous God. He's not addressing that. But ta -ta 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 -ta, no proof. Simple. And then here, look, look at here. Um, you know, you haven't read your Bible, you know that. I'm going to read it to him. This is what God said. Isaiah 24, 44. Okay, okay, read it, read it. Yeah? Isaiah 44, Isaiah 44, 24. Let me read it. You have read your Bible. Thus says the Lord. I'm going to read from the King James Version. Thus says the Lord, thy Redeemer, and he that formed thee for from the womb. I am the Lord that maketh all things. I am the Lord that maketh all things. That stretched forth the heavens alone. That spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. By myself. Is that any treaty there? I trust that you came to me to, to convince me about the of Christ. I want you to go to Old Testament. What does God say about himself? He's not going to do it. God is telling you, him alone created everything. Amazing. And when I ask the Christian, who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Do you know? Who is the Lord of the heavens and the earth? Is it Jesus? They will say yes. But when I call to them, in Gospel of Matthew, your Bible, 1125, what did Jesus say? I thank you, Father. Lord of the heavens and the earth. Who is the Lord? Who? The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Who is the Lord? How can there be three in one? These people are amazing. They come here with a claptrap. They have read their Bible. You're quoting, quoting, quoting. You don't even understand what you're quoting. Jesus make a distinction between an Almighty God in the Bible. I've quoted here and quoted extensively for five years. They come here with a claptrap. Jesus, worship the Lord your God and serve him. The true worshiper too. Not the true worshiper too, worship. Jesus said, the true worshiper will worship the Father. Are you a true worshiper? John 14, 23. Let me read it to you. No, I have to read now because why? from my head, they think I make you off. John, no, wait, wait. Yeah. Let me read that to so that you know. 30 seconds. What? 30 seconds. For, yeah, John 4, there. Yeah. John 4, yeah. Hold on. Ten seconds. Yeah. Sorry. Right. Come back. Time. Come back afterwards. Your time. Yeah, I'll give you more time. Just Three, give me. I'll give two, you. One. Time up. No, you can come. I'll time give you. Up. Yeah. But this is a. Wrap in. It's a. It's a you, yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. Don't do it. Yeah. One point that you'd like people to take home. With. Yeah. Wait. 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 You, you, you start it first. No. You start it first. You don't. You don't. The last round doesn't. No. 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 You don't get to tell us when the debate ends. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All right, you come back in your in your next okay, three minutes. Okay, you come okay, back, go, yeah. Go, okay, right, cool. go, so Ben, your three minutes. When you're ready, okay. yeah, start now. Okay. Once again, you have to take notice. He's not mentioned anything I said. Again, if Jesus is not God, then why, according to Hebrews chapter one verse three, does he share nature with the Father? What prophet? Or what, what what mere man shares nature with the Father? We see Jesus shares nature with the Father throughout the Gospel. For example, it says the fullness of deity dwells in bodily form. What prophet has the fullness of deity dwell within him? You have Jesus in um, you have Jesus in John chapter one creating all things. What prophet creates all things? Now I'll address a few points he's made, but I do want you to address the points I've made and not just gloss over them and go to your script. Yes. Because I think what's happened is you've been derailed from your script, so you're just repeating yourself. Stop repeating yourself and address what I'm saying. For this to be a, a productive discussion, you have to address my points, not just me addressing your points. You said that uh, you should not worship any god. Uh, but me is what, is what Isaiah says. Yes, Isaiah does say that. But how does Jesus interpret Isaiah? Jesus quotes from Isaiah and takes those divine titles and applies that to himself. You can come next. If you, if you want to debate, you can come next. You can come next. He's, 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 he's brave there saying that I'm waffling, but he can come next. That's fine. Big <laughs> time. He knows this. He knows that. You can come next. So he says in Isaiah, he says, worship, uh, worship number God. I agree, he does say that. But Jesus identifies himself as the God of Isaiah. So that doesn't disprove the deity of Christ. When you look at how Christ interpreted it, it proves the deity of Christ. He said, no, uh, Matthew says, I thank you, Father, and, and therefore Jesus is not God because he calls God his Father. 
Actually, he's just refuted Islam because he cannot believe Jesus even said those words. In Islam, in the Quran, chapter 5, he says that God is the father of no one. But here we have Jesus calling God his own father. So the point you just brought up, once again, doesn't prove your point. It shoots yourself in the foot because according to the Quran, God has no sons. Jesus says, you are my father, in the very same verse you just quoted. So why are you using verses to disprove the deity of Christ that actually point to the deity of Christ? This makes no sense. He says, John, he used John's full, John chapter 14 to try and disprove the deity of Christ. Once again, why in the world are you using John's gospel when John's gospel begins by calling Jesus the creator of all things? You cannot use a gospel to disprove the deity of Christ when it calls Jesus the creator of all things. That cannot be done. Continue reading through John. He calls God his father multiple times. John 17 verse 1 to 5, he quoted verse 3 earlier, go to verse 1 and 5, you see in the beginning Jesus calls God his own father and he calls God his own son. Once again, if he believes Jesus says these words, then it refutes Islam, because Jesus in the Muslim perspective cannot say these words, because God is not his father according to Islam, but according to the words of Christ, he is his own father. Now go to verse, go to verse 5. Go to verse 5, Jesus says, I share glory with the Father before the world even began. What prophet shares glory with the Father before the world began? No prophet can do that, that's blasphemy. Time, time. All right, cool. Hey. Dabi, Dabi, are you going to address this point, sir, yeah? Dabi, are you ready? At the moment, uh, this man cannot prove to be a single wrath in the Bible. Why did Jesus say God, he was a pain? He's not a pain. Jesus telling you, worship the Lord your God and serve only him. What do you understand by that? Was it the Lord? And also, Jesus, you know, in the upper room, Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse number 1 to 3. Let's see what Jesus said. He was talking to the disciples. He said, Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Now, who is that God? What's that verse? Answer, answer that. He doesn't even. John, John 14, 1. Go in that. John 14, 1. Start 14, 1. Stop messaging and answer the question. John 14, 1. Jesus said, what? Let me. Open, open your Bible. Oh, well, open it. That. He, has, he doesn't know your Bible. He's quoting clear yes. verses. Let not your heart be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I want to know who is God there? That's what I respect. I respect That's it. Education. Believe in God. Who is God? If Jesus is God, is there two gods? No, there's only one. He didn't say believe in God. Oh, so believe, in, believe in one God. Believe in second God. Or believe in Trinity. But let not your heart be troubled. The disciples. Believe in God. Believe also in me. Who is God there? Remember, they're supposed to be one. One, only one. one. Yeah. Only one. They said they're, they're, they're Jesus and God. Three. Where they get three, three from? Three that bear the God in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. But this verse here is two there. Tell him, Uncle, man. Tell him. Uncle, tell him, man. Read, read. I want to read it loud so people know who is God there. That's enough. You want to know who is God? I got this one. Who is Jesus referred to as God? Tell him, man. Now, Jesus is God. Let's know who is God there. Keep quiet. Please. Address that. Oh, one minute. No, one minute. One no, minute. I want to address that. Finish your time. Believe in God. And oh, also, oh, also, 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 address that. One and all. Because you time. challenge me. You challenge me. You want to prove to me that Jesus is God. You told me. Now the honor is on you. So, go down and you go on. Go down and you go to the Gospel of John. Um, because if I caught off my head. He's touching. What is this one? Be quiet. Yeah, this one. Oh, what, what what is is Who wrote it? Men? There you go. I'm men dodgy. Um, you men laugh. This also, one is no, a topic of last You go to Isaiah. Isaiah. No, go to Isaiah. 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 I'm going to go to Isaiah now. <laughs> Where is there, God he said, before me, nah, yeah. Leave, 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 leave. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Well, well, address, address that because now time is going. Address that. I just want to address that. Yeah. Time is going. Let me address that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, cool. Because so right, many days. Let me pause this. But you want to know? That's it, you know. Right. Because he's telling me. Time. Right. So you want to know who is God there? Alright, cool. Are you ready? Don't digress. Don't go anywhere. Right, you finish now. Deal with that. Let me finish. Let me go. Right, three minutes now. Okay, hopefully Lamin's cheerleaders won't interrupt this time and will actually let me speak. Now, I'll begin with his first point. He mentioned John chapter 14. This disproves the deity of Christ. Now, unfortunately, he, he says, I don't know my Bible. But he didn't finish the passage. If we continue in John 14, it says, as he rightly said in verse 1, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. Now, the very next verse refutes Islam. Okay, what? In my father's house. Whose house? There are, in his father's. 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 Quran chapter 5, God is no father of anyone. Oh, no, 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 I didn't interrupt you. I did not no, interrupt no, you. No, no, no. In, in verse 2, in my, in my father's house are many dwelling places. In my father's house. If it were not so, I would not have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. If I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. And where I am, you may be also. 
and that and you may know that where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord. What did he say? Yeah. Lord. Lord. He said, Lord, okay. we do not know where you're going. How do we know the way? He said, Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And then it says in verse 7, if you had known me, you would have known my Father. Also, from now on, you know him and have seen him. So when Jesus says, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father, how in the world does that refute the deity of Christ? His joint nature with Christ. Therefore, if you have seen, if you have seen the, if you have seen the Father, if you have seen the Son, then you have seen the Father. Therefore, therefore, he's God. So this, so this verse, so this verse he tried to bring up to refute the deity of Christ. It's unfortunate you only read the, the one verse, but when it starts speaking about how he's the Father, uh, how Jesus is the Son of the Father, that verse doesn't exist. But yeah, I don't know my Bible. What in the world are you talking about? You don't know your Bible. Now again, he's continuously. Uh, you can come next. Again, he's continuously asked me. He's continuously asked me. Yeah, to address his points. I've addressed his point in and out every single time yeah. he tried to use John chapter 14 1 to disprove the deity of Christ read the following verses he calls him he calls Jesus God his own father he calls God his own father he says if you have seen the father you have seen me therefore Jesus is claiming there to be God how, how does this disprove the deity of Christ it doesn't now I've answered your points verse by verse step by step now please Lamin instead of making more arguments address the arguments I've made you've not addressed any argument whatsoever you simply said well Isaiah says this Isaiah says that I address your points every time. Address my points. You haven't, ad you haven't addressed any of my points. You haven't addressed any okay, of my well, points. Okay. Have that I is not, look, point? we said. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. yes. We said. Oh, yes. That is not yes. of the Bible. Why Jesus claimed to be God? He's not there. He's not there. Matthew 14, 27. Jesus said, Oh my God. I quoted where we the Muslims, we call this all, all the time. John 17, 3. Hmm. Right, we call that all the time, oh, but yeah, this man here, he's clear about just anything. You challenge me, you're here, can't. I ask you, I, I, I did challenge you, I said. Go to me six verses. Go to six verses of the Bible. Six verses. Six verses. I want to know. What do you want to know? What do you know? What does God say about himself in the Old Testament? What does he say? Do you believe in the Old What does God say about himself? I quote, no, no, no. I quote one verse there. He said, the man said that Jesus created. He said Jesus created everything. Jesus created us. Now I quote to you, I quote to you in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 44, verse number 24. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heaven, who spread it out by myself. There is no trinity in them. No, no, there is no trinity. You're not addressing that. You challenge me. Address that. But they won't go to the Old Testament. They live in the New Testament. So you tell me God changed his mind. God in the Bible says one, only one Lord. He's not a man. Was he made alone? And you go to the New Testament. He said, no, no, no. I'm a, tri I'm a triumph God. Can you show me one verse in the Bible? Why? Almighty God. In the Old Testament, speak about Trinity. He can do it. I will give you thousand pounds. Six verses from the Bible. He can. But he's here. Bob, Bob failed a thousand pounds this year. Six verses. He can quote it. When God speaks about his oneness, it's replete. He can't. He's here. I challenge him. No, I challenge him. And the man speak about the book of Hebrews. Who wrote the book of Hebrews? Here. Charles Dickens. That is your back here. What does he get to come out? Here is a list of your Bible. 66 books. 66 books. My brother and sisters here, he doesn't know who wrote the Bible. I'm going to teach you. 66 books. Who wrote them? If you tell me who wrote them, Look, I'm here. I'm gonna look today. No, you know, I, I'm not joking. I brought thousand pounds for Bob. One thousand pounds, I'm gonna give you. He doesn't know. 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 He one bag, turn it from Genesis to Revelation, and guess what? Monopoly money. Guess what? Oh, we got money there, oh. bro. Guess what? Oh. Guess what? Oh. They believe in the Bible. It's a word of God. Exactly. From Genesis to Revelation, he doesn't hold who wrote the books. You are reading a book. You don't know who wrote them. You believe in them. Now, challenge is yours now. One thousand pounds. Now he knows who wrote the books. Sixty-six books. Go, let's go that.
You caught it something. Wrap up. Wrap up. Okay. Now notice once again, he wants me to answer his points, yeah. but for his whole entire discussion, he's not answered any points I've made. I've gave him, I've gave him, Lamin, stop your heckling. I've gave him biblical verses that show where Jesus claimed divine titles of himself that were used in the Old Testament only of God, and he refers them to himself. Isaiah 44 verse 6, Revelation chapter 1 verse 17, John 8 58, Exodus 3 14. All of these are divine titles of God that Jesus applies to himself. Jesus is worshipped in Matthew, 20, in Matthew chapter 2. They bow down and worship him. He says you only worship God. I agree, they worship God. They worship Christ in human form. So therefore, Jesus is God because he, he claims divine titles, he accepts worship, he accepts people calling him... He, ex he accepts people... Let me see the time, let me see the No, 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 stop. He accepts people calling him, calling him God. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 says he shares nature with God. How can a prophet share nature with God? It's impossible. John, John 1 3... John, John 1 3 says... John 1 3... John 1 3... Stop speaking, I didn't do this to you. John 1 3... John 1 3 says Jesus created all things, which echoes the, the Apostle Paul's words in Colossians chapter 1 that says he created all things. All things have their being through him and for him. Jesus sustains the whole of life itself, the Bible says. He, the Bible clearly teaches Jesus is God, but he arbitrarily picks and chooses verses that he thinks fits with Islamic theology. When you look at the context, like in John 14, when he said John 14, De uh, de denies the deity of Christ. He only read the, verse, the first verse. If you can continue reading the next 10 verses, Jesus calls God his Father. He said, I'm going to prepare a place for you in heaven. He says, that if you've seen the Father, if you've seen me, you have seen the Father. Now notice that. He only takes verses here and there. I give you the full context. Judge for yourselves. Who's being more fair and honest with the text? The man, the man if I asked him what his hermeneutics and context mean, he probably couldn't tell me. Because unfortunately, he spends most of his time watching Zach and Ike and Akhmatita. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Now, I have answered every single point he's brought up. He has not answered any point I've brought That's how you judge this debate. Which one? You can come next. Which one has judged? Which one has actually answered? Which one has answered the objections of the other? I've answered his objections each and every way. He has never asked him one objection I've even brought up. He's simply done a yah yah and ignored everything I've said and stuck to his script. Unfortunately, his script is rubbish. It doesn't go anywhere. All his script does is just say, well, Isaiah and, and Matthew says this and, and John says that. We look deeper into these texts. We see those texts actually prove the deity of Christ, not, dis not disprove the deity of Christ. And I'll finish with this. He has not answered a single point I've said. No. Hebrews 1 3. People, can a prophet share nature with God? No. 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 Yeah. Can a prophet share nature with God? No. 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 Yes. yes. No. yes. No. Therefore, no. Jesus, no. In, he in Hebrews no. 1 verse 3, shares nature with God. Therefore, he's not just a mere prophet. In Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 to 8, it says, although he was in the form of God, he did not count to quality with God as something to hold on to. Rather, he emptied himself and took on the form of a servant. Therefore, that's what we have is the hypostatic union in one verse. Thank you. No, no, it's going. Yeah, thank you. Let's test. One more. One more verse. You know, you had your chance. You had your chance. You had your chance. Jesus says something profound in the Bible. Listen to me. You had your chance. John 4 23. But the hour cometh, and now is when the true worshippers, when the true worshippers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father. Worship who? Hold on. Worship, worship who? Worship, 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 worship who? Father. Is Jesus the Son of God? No, so according to your own theology, you cannot say those words. Listen, 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 you was Jesus. Worship who? The Father. The Father. Ah, the Father. No, 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 no,
He's you saying, see what I'm saying? Yeah. What I'm saying? Your Bible said the true worshippers worship the Father. He's saying, you He's worship saying, the Jesus. Why do I worship Jesus? I worship Jesus for the same reason the wise men did in chapter 2. They bowed down and worshipped him. Why? Because he's in fact God. You're telling me to shut up. You can come next. If you're ready to come next, come next. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. You said, love me. No, hold on. Lemon, you had your chance. I addressed your point. You didn't address mine. You were watching my videos. And you seen that. You were too I addressed every point Lemon made. He didn't address a single point I made. Why did he not address a point I made? Because he doesn't know context. He doesn't know what he's talking about. He's doing what we call proof texting. Take a verse here, take a verse there and make it fit Islamic theology. Upon further inspection, like when he used John 14 verse 1, he believes that disproves the deity of Christ. Continue reading John 14. Jesus says that God is his father. The Quran says in chapter 5, God is not his father. Therefore, that verse, that passage he's trying to use to support Islam, rejects Islam. Thank you, Larry. That's the whole problem. When they start panicking, when I call it, because they don't know your Bible. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, bro. Stop, bro.